I can't see the end of the horizon. Hatsune Miku! <laughs> This is Hatsune Miku, a voice bank of Vocaloid, a voice synthesizer software that allows users to make custom vocals and music from pre-recorded vocals. In 2004, after the release of its first voice banks, the staff of Krypton Future Media had a very important discovery. What if we made our future voice banks into cute anime mascots? And everyone in the studio was like, <laughs> First came Meiko, who shot up their sales, then came Kaito, who underperformed, and then... Miku da yo. And her popularity went crazy. Damn! Miku is a phenomenon that has been celebrated for countless years and is all across the entertainment industry with dedicated fans, artists, and musicians. Memes, animations, music bangers, concerts, merch, commercials, rhythm games, and even anime appearances. Everyone loves Miku. I'm not here to gush about Hatsune Miku, at least the one that you commonly know. I'm here to gush about what happens when you make this mascot character Brazilian. What? This one alternate version of Miku created a widespread internet trend that somehow managed to unite the entire world. So you know the drill. Let's talk about it. Hey yo, it's Toledo, that fallen angel kicked out of heaven. Get some snacks, get some water, get Shadow the Hedgehog, and let's get on the video. I know, I know you like my style. That's the gritty looking pretty while I crack a smile. Miku can be anything, and I'm not lying to your face here. Although marketing commonly depicts her as an anime android girl with her go-to outfit, Miku's first and foremost a synthesized voice. There is no one backstory or lore for her. This openness and flexibility opens up numerous means of interpreting, expressing, expressing. and headcanoning, allowing any person to tell their story. So Miku is not just an instrument for music, but also one for artistic expression and creativity. In an article from Washington Post, Crusher, the Vocaloid artist, makes a pretty good analogy. She can be anything. She's like the world's Barbie doll. People can dress her up however they want, and that can be their version of Miku. She's customizable as shit, and it's always a treat seeing what Miku styles people come up with. Despite everything, it's still Miku But that goes back to the main point, Miku can be anything. And it's for anybody's expression and creative ideas. So funny enough, this makes Miku hella inclusive for creators of all types of diverse backgrounds when bringing that idea to light. And that's not even me like forcing my beliefs here. When hearing of the BLM movement, here are official words from Hiroyuki Ito, the CEO of Krypton Future Media. Throughout the years, we here at Krypton Future Media have done our best to provide platforms such as Hatsune Miku for creators of all races, nationalities, languages, ages, genders, and sexualities to express themselves. Additionally, we have hosted events across the world for people to come together to share in their love and appreciation for their own communities. Although we're based in Sapporo, Japan, we here at Krypton have heard the voices of the BLM movement and will renew our commitments to spreading a culture of respect and inclusivity through creation. <laughs> Although Miku is rooted in Japan, she's become a worldly phenomenon for everybody. And I think that's pretty cool. And all it takes is for one odd trend to see how for everybody comes to life. This trend will be accredited to three separate artists. The first is Aaron Artista, who on June 25th of this year made a sketch of Hatsune Miku, but as a Brazilian. This is the OG Brazilian Miku with the design attributes you commonly see. Then on August 14th, TikTok animator Akio Skadiba posted an animation that reached millions of views in just a week. But this trend would really go worldwide with one Twitter artist, Doodly. Taking inspiration from Aaron's Brazilian Miku design and the animations on TikTok, they'd post their own art on the internet. And I don't know what it was with this Brazilian Miku in particular, but artist got possessed by something. I got, I got a on Look at how many views this has. 85,000 bookmarks, I see you, I see you. And 373 million views. All of a sudden, everybody became obsessed with Brazilian Miku. Every artist on the block was drawing, sketching, and making their own content with Brazilian Miku. And seeing all this fire artwork on the timeline? <laughs> Here's Brazilian Miku playing football. Here's Brazilian Miku again. Brazilian Miku. You can't escape! You can't escape! You couldn't get her off your timeline. Leave me alone! Ah! Akira! Ah! 
artists made memes of her. Animations of her went wild. I got to see artists use her to reference fighting game characters, 3D models, endless zone zero mods. Cosplayers were cosplaying Miku and were freaking killing it. Miku became furry and a lot of artists were making spicy art of her and I kind of want to be paid for this video. You can't forget down bad artists on Twitter. In Whoville they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. I guess this is what Latinas does to a mother -er. Wait, why is my phone ringing? Pick up the phone, baby. I just love Latinas, Sonic. I know that Shadow the Hedgehog really got to live his Latina dream. Is that King Freddy Fazbear? But hey, shout out to Latinas. And shout out to Brazilian Miku. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. Regardless, there's so much behind this trend's explosion. Having like every community imaginable come together around a pop icon like Hatsune Miku, it was fun to just see people go wild with it. But why did I say that Brazilian Miku went worldwide? Think about this for a moment. Let him cook now! Why is it that only Brazil gets to have the fun around their own Miku design? Let's go worldwide! I said let him Search up any country or nationality, it would have a Hatsune Miku, Mexican Miku, Puerto Rican Miku, Filipino Miku, Polish Miku, Greek Miku, French Miku, German Miku, Palestinian Miku, Indonesian Miku, American Miku, Nigerian Miku, Georgian Miku, Indian Miku, Portuguese Miku, Vietnamese Miku. I could go on and on about all the versions of Miku, but this video conveniently did it for me. But you know what was my favorite art around all of this? Hatsune Miku getting in trouble with the TSA for her passports. This is ridiculous. The world is literally hers. Release my God. Never mind, we got the good ending. Let's go! I also want to mention a few Mikus from the States. Florida Miku, Texas Miku, Massachusetts Miku, Atlanta, Georgia Miku. But people weren't done, nah. I'm not finished. What if we put Miku in other types of media? You can't escape! The rise and fall of a vocal synthesizer. Nirvana Miku, Deadpool Miku, Jujutsu Kaisen Miku. Don't tell her how people feel about the manga ending. Chainsaw Man Miku, Simpsons Miku. Holy <laughs> Family Guy Miku, Living Dead Miku. Not gonna lie, this one's probably my fave. And really, this all comes back to Brazilian Miku. Shout out to Brazil. Maybe we'll get to see even more Brazil. Oh, what? what the f going on in Miami, bro? Brazil's Supreme Court has upheld a ban on the social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter. Like only two days after this was all happening, Twitter got banned from Brazil. What the hell happened? It's a feud between two men and it gets pretty political. <laughs> But to simplify it a bit, Brazil has been very aggressive against what they've declared ongoing misinformation and insurgent hate speech online. A lot of these aspects emphasized a huge conflict between Elon Musk and Alexander de Moraes, with far-right accounts being the center of discussion. And with Elon going far down the far-right ideology, connect the dots. Brazil's Supreme Court asked Musk to suspend seven, just seven accounts, and he refused to comply with court orders. Because Musk stands for free speech. He fights against censorship, even though in 2023, at a request of the Turkish government, must censor content that conflict with the elections. I wonder why different politics came into play here. Is anybody surprised about what happened? No, man. Nope. After Brazil's warning, Elon Musk closed office in Brazil, leaving no legal representative. And the foreign internet services company having no legal representative in Brazil is like a huge no-no there. Brazil then gives Musk a final demand. Name a legal representative in the next 24 hours and comply, or Brazil, Twitter's sixth largest market goes bye-bye. Twitter did nothing. So Brazil ended up suspending Twitter nationwide, with even a fine for anyone trying to use a VPN to skirt the suspicion. What? Holy shit, ever since Elon buying it, Twitter just keeps getting worse. Brazil getting removed from Twitter is like Thanos snapping half the population. Do you know what this just did? At this point, Brazilian Twitter users saw themselves disconnected from the internet. Your Brazilian oomph faded from the timeline. <laughs> And this shit was disastrous for Stan accounts. It turns out Brazilians were holding up the whole site, quite possibly the whole internet. The amount of popular accounts and fan pages that are now falling by the wayside is actually insane. But wait, aren't I like forgetting somebody? Oh my god, Brazilian Miku. Oh, what the fuck? Why don't they don't kill my what?
Imagine showing this artwork to someone who has like no context over anything that happened this week. Do you know how crazy timing it is to have this entire event happen right when Brazilian Miku is trending? But hey, thank you to Brazilian Miku for explaining what happened here. Where else will I get my news other than a Vocaloid? When the entire world is getting united off of the basis of a Brazilian girl, this legacy of Hatsune Miku, all of that's taken away. I can't tell if that's horrific timing or a twist of fate, but however events can continue to shape from this dilemma. I'm gonna let the finger decide. Wait, whoa, whoa, what is happening? The Dragon Warrior, it's me! The world can one day be united again. The Brazilian Hatsune Miku trend is one that I believe the world surprisingly really needed. Not just to see fire ass art or attractive woman, although I'm not complaining, but seeing all types of backgrounds and communities. From Brazilian Miku to all of the Mikus from the East and West Hemisphere, it makes you feel something. Was there some drama that spurred? It's Twitter. But the impact every single one of these Mikus had can't be understated. It makes all types of fellows feel included. Funny enough, when I was finishing up scripting this video, I saw this fire cosplay, but I also saw this remark from Japanese user Masa. Quote, I think there are many women around the world who want to cosplay as Miku, but I think many of them hesitate because of the skin color restrictions. However, with the creation of Brazilian Miku, perhaps those restrictions have been lifted. All you need is a turquoise green wig with twin tails and you can become that country's Miku. This is true diversity. Regardless of the official Miku designation, we are now in an era where we can freely express the Miku of our country or your Miku. Global Mikunity has arrived. Whatever trend it may be, I just love getting to see people's creativity, especially with Hatsune Miku. It reminds you that Miku really has the power to include and unite communities, that Miku can really be anything, and this little robot synthesizer truly is for everyone. But hey, my poor Brazilian fellas no! stuck in the worst timeline living in Brazil.